Hello fellow travelers, this is Veronica from Human Design Journey, exploring the daily transit and the weekly transit, the different planets move with different speed around the wheel, so the Sun and Earth change their positions every five and a half days, the nodes every three months, the moon every eight hours, uh, Mercury every few days and so on and so on until we get to Pluto where we're talking about um, actually years so Pluto is in the 16th gate until 2025 it entered in 2021 I think or 2020 <clears throat> So, yeah, the daily transit is uh, the exact moment. At the same time, it includes more moments in time. And it's about the neutrino stream, which is showering us with its influence. The planets are giving us uh, the colors of the day. And this can be either a possibility, a challenge, or a deviation and uh, decentering and uh, delusions. Um, and it can take us um, away from our geometry and the least resistant path. So that's the use of knowing the Just Now chart, which you can get, by the way, for free on jovianarchive.com, Just Now chart. Uh, so we have the sun entered yesterday, or the day before, actually, even the 23rd gate splitting apart the gate of assimilation and the earth, the 43rd gate break through the gate of insight. And at the same time, we have Uranus in the third line um, of the third gate for some time together with uh, Pluto. So we have the channel of mutation present actually since Mm -hmm. since the 1st of May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> uh, already so for 11 days, uh, I need to uh, stay for another, um, let's see, here it will go away on the 25th of May. So for good 25 days, guys, we're under the influence of the 360 channel. Here we see it, the channel of mutation. It's one of the format channels. And it's going to be very strongly felt in our, um, basically in the background frequency because it's a very strong energy for mutation, for change, for um, very powerful, fueled, adrenalized um, individual knowing energy which um, is um, basically the, the gate of limitations, uh, the gate of order connected to the 60th gate, uh, the gate of limitation. Um, as we said, Pluto is here for a very long time, so we can really see this energy play out with all the limitations we have <laughs> in the world with uh, prices and uh, conflicts and geopolitical uh, 
games and resource redistribution. You can really see the limited, the Pluto, the truth transformation and psychology leading us into the new, together with the uh, Neptune in the 36th. Both are right now in the fifth gates. So a heretical time. Mm. And we will find out uh, exactly about that, um, what has been going on when Pluto moves out of Neptune, because Neptune, the god of the sea, is actually diluting things. The water, you never see it really clearly. It moves and uh, gives this illusion, and you're not sure exactly. <laughs> um, so it's a transcendence, but all of that is preparing us for the new times, the times of the sleeping phoenix. It's a very individual energy in the air. And um, yeah, people cannot take this pulsing mechanism of um, indecisiveness and um, fluctuation. It's... Uh, it's is this channel basically has a frequency that is a pulse, an on and off mutation, uh, which takes place between the, the pulse, and it occurs in a known moment between the fingers and between the notes, and you never know when it comes uh, or if it shall come, or whether it will stay, and it never really stays. It's very creative energy and it's about bringing the new and that comes out of chaos. And the third gate, the gate of ordering, is actually also the gate of chaos where you have all the possibilities. That's why you have difficulties at the beginning. You have all the possible versions and scenarios. And this connects to the 16th gate, the gate of limitation. Actually, what it says is, let's concentrate on one thing at a time. Let's cut the chaos and put order one at a time, the channel of mutation. But the mutation doesn't come on a schedule. It doesn't come on a demand. It comes or doesn't come and it can get stuck and it can get unstuck. It's a generator channel. It's a format, adrenalized generating energy for change. And actually we have here diversity and all the possibilities for genetic mutation and uh, um, even um, mutation between the different uh, generations, so generational mutation. Um, <clears throat> and this energy can be very depressing as all the format energies. We even have the 52nd gate as well. So quite a possibility for uh, depression. It's still mounting. Venus keeping still, the gate of stillness. So we have this pulse and energy for um, initiation and fluctuation in the pulse, which will only come and generate when it's correct, when it responds uh, and especially for people with open sacrals, so the manifestors, reflectors and projectors, this can feel very explosive, it can feel very energetic. And a want, a desire to do something, to change something, or people with open roots as well, being in a hurry for change, wanting something to change. And there is nothing more depressing when you have so much potential and energy and fuel for change and nothing really changes. So beware that it's wanting to to go over the limitations and change things and it might not be the correct timing it might not be the correct possibility and at the same time we have the channel 4323 which is uh, the channel of genius to freak 
uh, another um, very um, individual energy. Um, so we have here uh, uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, the possible the forty third uh, gate is the gate of the inner ear, and actually, um, the individual, the format we have of the individual circuit, um, and we have also the individual voice, the breakthrough. And um, uh, the splitting apart, the gate of assimilation, actually, um, it's about acoustics. It's those gates are very, and the individual energy in general, the individual circuit is very uh, tuned to sound, to it gets information from acoustic in an, in an acoustic way. Uh, from sound, so um, a lot of musicality, or even if you can say um, being attuned to um, what's going on, but because it's the inner ear, we're talking about what's going on on the inside, so being more or less deaf to the outside, or keep a healthy um, separation, <laughs> In a way, the 43rd gate is a gate of deafness, one of the three gates of deafness, together with the 28th and the, um, thir and the 39th, 38th and 39th gate. Um, so it's being deaf to the outside so that you're not influenced, but stay in your innovative, creative process and the individual, that's what the individual is about, being freaky, being uh, innovative, being strange, different, um, but strange and freaky is when you didn't find a way to communicate yourself to the collective, then you're fr a freak. And if you successfully structured uh, the new information, presented it in a new way so that the other person understood it, then you've been able to mutate them. And then you're perceived as a genius if it's in the right timing. So this ingenious energy flowing in the air, um, being invited, in this case, it's a projector channel to express your uh, breakthroughs and uh, assimilations, to structure things in a new way or to generate um, this new um, out of the chaos one thing that came to order um, unexpectedly and with the potential which we know, you know, mutation basically you, it needs time to, to see whether it will stand the test of time. You never know if a, a mutation is a good or not a good one, whether it will be durable, whether it will stay. But change is always there. The, the, the only unchangeable thing is actually change. Constant, the only constant thing is change. Um, yeah, so. We have um, and the sun and earth in a channel. Um, then the channel, it's bigger than the sum of the two parts. Mm. We have uh, the 23rd gate. Let's see. In the first line, prolicitation, uh, pro, uh, proselytization, uh, the attempt to un uh, undermine one set of values for another. The sage who is uh, who in the extreme can defend evil as a part of the greater good. 
the power expression of an insight which will undermine established values. And the other side, the missionary whose very light will uh, bring darkness. The powerful expression of an insight which will produce negative effects. <clears throat> and when the timing is not right to express its uh, throat gate, then we have today self-defense, the need to abandon tolerance when survival is threatened. The principle of preservation uh, at its most acute, the abandonment of toler tolerance when individual expression is threatened, where Jupiter will strike out to preserve uh, its integrity. The moon is often satisfied with just protecting itself by fending off hostility. The defense of individual expression in the face of hostility. So today, if there is hostility, uh, we'll be able to defend ourselves with our individual expression and stay exactly deaf to that um, influence, if you wish, because we're we're talking about the hermit here, uh, knowing how to to wanting to be left alone and staying in its own cave, but projecting to the outside its gifts, um, and abundant tolerance when survival is threatened, actually. Uh, then tomorrow we have the third line individuality, independent expression that is not by its nature de detrimental to others. Vitality and personal power that can engender jealousy, but not threat. Individual expression which attracts attention, but not th uh, threat. Uh, so the third line, the most materialistic line is also the most individual so here we have the most um mutative day and a lot of third lines also the nodes are in the third line a lot of discoveries can be made or not um, independent expression that is not by its nature detrimental to others vitality and personal power that can engender jealousy but not threat so this attention uh, uh, attraction uh, will not be threatening to the other. At the same time, it's a trial and error process. So beware not to break and burn all the bridges behind you in your anarchistic <laughs> um, individuality. The fourth line, fragmentation, diversification without a, uh, a perceived potential for synthesis, but fatalism and egoism and damn the consequences. Not interested in the consequences, doesn't matter. I'll do my own thing. The fourth line, especially if I see the opportunity there. Individual expression, which has no collective value or the other side, atheism and paranoia. Individual expression, which engenders isolation and fear. Wanting to um, be fragmented, to be away from the your network from the people if they jeopardize your personal individual expression and want to influence you. So we have also fatigue here in the fourth line uh, as a keyword. So you have to take time away from your network. The fifth line, the practical acceptance of the values of another path, the expansion and contribution through assimilation, the gift of communicating individual insight to the collective. And the other side, motive-driven assimilation from an inferior position, i.e. for protection or nourishment. Motive-driven assimilation for acceptance and protection from the collective. Here we have the true um, assimilator, actually. It even says assimilation because we have splitting the part, the gate of assimilation, amorality, the awareness and understanding, which leads to the acceptance of diversity. Here, this gate is responsible for actually the collective to finally understand the individual or to understand it from time to time in a pulse <laughs> so that it can accept it. And here, this gate is about accepting the difference. So um, accepting the different expression, the different person, the freak, uh, so that all have place on on the world um here it's about um, diversity and um, equanimity in a way that all 
different have all differences have the same possibilities no matter our no matter our diversity and differentiation um still we have to have access to equal possibilities so equanimity is here accepting the different allowing it to have to take its place on the table of diversity in the world it's beautiful and the sixth uh so this is what the hexagram <laughs> um projects and expects wants dreams that it will be then we have the sixth line fusion um we have the uh, gradual attunement of diversity through synthesis the exponential growth of energy and its power of assertion energy uh, engendered by fusion individual knowing which brings diversity to synthesis the principled but futile withdrawal from fusion that leads to atrophy individual knowing that holds on to, to diversity and closes its power on expression and loses its power on ex in expression um, <clears throat> fusion, indeed, the sixth line, it goes beyond everything in, and being interested in the whole picture. Here we have this individual energy being, um, transpersonal and again, we have um, gradual attunement of diversity through synthesis and uh, integration. Uh, the 23rd gate is um, really uh, a very uh, transformational gate. Because it translates the individual voice to the exterior world. So that's why uh, the gate of assimilation, um, together with the, uh, the gate of breakthrough, make the design of genius to freak a design of individuality. Um, being the individual voice, the creative voice of this um, individual mind on one hand, so individual concepts being able to be with details today, with detail, to be expressed if it's the right timing. So let's not forget it's a projective channel. You have to be invited into that, depending, of course, on your type, whether you're a manifester, a projector, generator, or reflector, things will work differently. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at the 43rd. Uh, so in general, when we have a um, channel, we don't really go through the different lines of the gates because... Um, the channel is practically the synthesis and it is uh, the quantum which is bigger than the two parts. So there will be a little bit, um, the most important here is the channel rather than the, the specific lines because it forms a channel. Um, it will be in a very specific way. So be aware of that. Excuse me, still the nuances in the lines will be heard, felt, seen in the forces around us, in the news, in the social media. So that's why I'm going through them because it's worth watching the movie. We have here the 43rd gate breakthrough. First line yesterday, their um, the recognition that new forms cannot be established and new resistance has been eliminated depth necessary to bring into form an individual insight an impatience to enjoy the sweets of accomplishment that inevitably leaves a sour taste in the mouth a delight in the insight but a lack of depth to establish it 
so that recognition so we see we're talking about mm, projector qualities here um and impatience to enjoy the sweetness of accomplishment and then it becomes bitterness so especially if you're with an open throat open ajna you will want to try to be certain to express your knowing being deaf to others opinions and um being really very individualistic and freaky uh be aware that energy is there uh then uh, we have so patience be patient uh, in order to gain depth it's introspection the first line investigation the second line dedication we have projection here the hermit uh, waiting to be called, planning, advanced withdrawal, advanced withdrawal, and we have in the line of dedication. The maintenance of specialized attitudes which promote breakthrough, unique mental habits, thought processes um, which promote insight. A dedication to action that when actualization is in sight may become incautious. The urge of expression that will abandon its normal process when an opportunity arises. Uh, so the second line wants to be left alone, obviously today, to do its own thing and maintain its own, at, uh, own attitude uh, to promote breakthrough with its unique mental habits, which can be seen and it's really the natural, so uh, it can be uh, appreciated in the other. Mm. And at the same time, you can become in, in cautious uh, when an opportunity arises and abandon uh, the normal processes and try to powerfully break through or say something which it was not the timing for. Be aware of that. Tomorrow, the third line expediency, the powerful drive for regeneration that will, when breakthrough is threatened, use any means, align with any force, and endure any condemnation to achieve the goal. A certainty in knowing, a certainty in knowing which can withstand condemnation. And the other side, an oversensitivity to condemnation that may preclude justified expediency and result in failure. Individual insight abandoned in the face of condemnation. Uh, so that's in a trial and error process. Tomorrow, expediency. Either uh, go ahead and say things and say your individual insights. Abandon the fear of not being understood. And you can either say it in the wrong timing or in the good, in the right timing, depending on whether you were invited or not, and on your strategy and authority, whether it was correct for you to do it or not. You see, the energy is there, but it's just energy. You don't need to get wet from every rain, you know? And there are some rains that it will be nice to get wet from and clean yourself from things or get things going or something. It's just the program. The fourth line, one track mind, that will be the day after tomorrow, the over-reliance and stubborn obsession with one's mental abilities in the face of recurring obstacles. The design given mercurial mental gifts may, though rarely succeed, a stubborn reliance on one's unique insights that demands focused mental ability to be properly conceptualized. In the fourth line, opportunist, so waiting for its opportunity to uh infect the other and with its beliefs a belief in inherent right action based on limited knowledge that shuns advice the vanity to attempt expression without depth mm -hmm. so the fourth line is very fixed it's not interested in introspection in knowing whether the base is okay once it accepts the base it's just it's interested to go and to externalize and um influence the other with its own um foundation so the one track mind is very fixed very limited 
And when the opportunity arises, it can be very friendly or very unfriendly if you're not in its network and they don't like you. Then we will get to the fifth line progression. Uh, so beware, in two days you can be um, stubbornly obsessed to um, express. And then progression, the fifth line in, in three days, the step-by-step -step adaptation to relationships which hinder breakthrough through practical actions which will not jeopardize eventual success. The gift of knowing when a unique insight can be shared effectively with others and universalize it in a heretical way, in a selfless or a selfish way. The gift of knowing when a unique insight can be shared effectively and call the other or being called to practicality and the other side a tendency to concentrate on harmonizing relationships that tends to strengthen the position of restrictive forces restrictive forces rather than benefiting breakthrough an over reliance on the receptivity of others that turns harmony into the conditioner of individual expression allowing too much the influence of others to hinder your individual breakthrough in a way those are the two sides having a unique insight and knowing when to share it effectively or let the other ruin your harm and influence you, project on you. And when you're not ready to be practical, hang you, put you on the stake, so you burn. So that will be a practical day. And then the six line breakthrough. Uh, the actualization and centering that in breakthrough naturally establish both internally and externally a new order. Unique knowing that is both personally and collectively of value. Mm. Again, the sixth line, the role model. Here we have transition, um, aloneness or separateness, uh, sensitivity, and um, sympathy, apathy. The administration, the optimist, uh, wanting to break through and to externalize a new order and show its unique knowing, but it will only come out if it's the perfect, idealistic, the best, and so on. So this is uh, the Sun Earth configuration. So shining through uh, the splitting apart and grounding through the breakthrough. Then we have the nodes in, still in the 27-28 gate, the gate of caring and the gate of the game player. Uh, in the line of greed here, the nourishment, um, the psychological manifestation, the obsession, dependency of knowing what is hidden, the secret policeman, the power derived in having more than one needs, whether sexually, mentally, or materially. So a lot of greed here, guys. Be aware of that, wanting more than one needs. And at the same time, uh, the unfounded risk-taking, adventurism. Uh, on one hand, being um, too cautious in taking risks or mm, basically um, rationalizing risk-taking and taking uh, absolutely unnecessary um, um, and unfounded risks. The moon, which will change very soon, is in the 19th gate, the gate of wanting, first line interdependence, the tendency once an approach is accepted to get stuck in continued reflection at the expense of continued development. The pressure for acceptance, which fears eventual rejection. Okay, so that's the driving force, what the focus of the mind is right now on, on the needs of the tribe. Uh, so we have um, 27 gates also in Mercury, as well as 23rd in Uranus, uh, which repeat. Mm, yeah, so the 27th 
the fifth line, the executor, the gate of caring, the ability to distribute effectively the resources of others. So we want to communicate about uh, either the gift and principled agent of distribution or the good sense and ability to find one the power and strength to care for the resources of others or a restrictive nature that hampers distribution or the seeking of advice and assistance. Weakness and the risk of loss of powers uh, restrict caring. And so it's gonna be about restrictions and the power and strength to do care for others. That's what we're gonna hear in the news. A lot of caring, a lot of projection, looking for practicality here. How to take care of the of the tribe, of the young. So a lot of those themes will be in the air. And we have also um, basically activities through caring and nourishment. So this will be very active um, energy. Keeping Steel Mountain, the first line is in values, in Venus, which is values and relating. Uh, the moral values, so this is the pause that is so profound that it leads to silence. The pacification energy that leads to stillness, speaking first and living with the consequences afterwards, energy that cannot be stilled. So here we have on one hand the Buddha or the one who couldn't wait, he had to manifest and initiate. <clears throat> and that's the value. So um, we can really get punished afterwards if we are not in the right moment when we don't know when to stay still and when we over react and do go like living with the consequences afterwards speaking first and uh, speaking first and later um, see the effect all of that with a lot of uh, details, again in the fifth line, metamorphosis. So we have here the gate of details, or the gate of uh, of the small. When excellence is achieved, action is necessary. Uh, the reaching out to others to share symbolized by the moon's phases as it moves from darkness to eventually sharing fully its light. The understanding that only when the details are complete can action or expression be initiated. A tendency in metamorphosis to seek acclaim through dramatic presentation when the details are organized. The need for attention demands expression. Um, so here we have again wanting to express some details, uh, demanding expression. And if it's not in the right timing, those and if if it's not being waited to get the details, it can be quite shallow. And it's an ex, um, expressive, immature energy, which projects that there will be metamorphosis, but it's not necessarily true. Hence, it correct then the practicality and details it will bring might be metamor uh, might bring metamorphosis. Uh, we already discussed the third gate. It's in the third line survival, the ability to recognize and distinguish between fertile and sterile in their various manifestations. The perverse denial of evolutionary standards, an innate uh, cont contrariness which refuses to mutate. Mm, not wanting change not knowing how to continue from, with the difficulties from the beginning. And we have also in detriment the 60th gate in the fifth line leadership, where natural desire for expansion, when limitations are essential, creates confusion from the top. Expansive energy that cannot handle limitations. Wanting to expand, being projected on to universalize the energy and uh, be called to practically 
be heret heretic in the limitations and overthrow them, maybe not on the, in the right timing. And uh, we have um, Thirteenth Gate, the fifth line, the underground, the perfected survivor, regardless of conditions, immunity to crisis, both generator and survivor. The nervousness that can lead to self betrayal, self betraying nervousness in times of crisis. To self betray yourself, especially if you're not practical. To become the general if you're not called to be that savior and being that attractive energy. Seductive crisis, the darkening of the light is here. So you will definitely get into crisis, experimenting and starting new things. Um, but that's the only way, the experiential way. So we will see what happens. The point is you have to be correct for yourself. And then... Mm, yeah, we have the 23rd gate in the first line, proselytization in uh, Uranus, the illusion of chaos and innovation, the attempt to undermine one set of values for another. The sage who is in, a, in the extreme can defend evil as a part of the greater good, the powerful expression of an inside which will undermine established values. And the other side, the missionary whose very light will bring darkness. The powerful expression of inside which will produce negative effects. We already saw that with the sun yesterday. And here we have it in the unusualness and chaos. So uh, those negative effects can be unusual and undermine the established values. Um, and all of that we can get um, interestingly disciplined and limited in the gate of family, the gate of friendship. The mother, the father, the first line, a position of inherent respect that ensures a focus for the development of guidelines. Harmony is the key to the successful maintenance of relationships. It is only through harmony that the beauty and the values of the family can endure. Friendship that is ro rooted in sensitivity uh, and ensures harmony. So when we don't follow our strategy and authority, we'll be definitely limited in the family, in the harmony of the uh, relationships which we're in. Uh, so beware, guys. This is uh, where the limitation really comes. And Moon just changed gate to gate two, the uh, service in the 19th gate line two. The dedication of personal resources as a, as a result of external contact. Dedication and service to the highest values, the energy to want to be of service. And the other side, protracted indecision, but given the nature of this position, eventual compliance, the need to be wanted that will eventually turn its energy to service. The natural service in the gate of wanting, uh, of knowing what the needs are, being attuned to the needs of the tribe, uh, of the support the tribe needs, what the fridge needs. And it can be either protracted indecision um, or dedication and service to the highest values, the energy to want to be of service or not. So this is in the air. Uh, this melancholic energy, wanting change, being deaf to what others say, at the same time wanting to communicate um, about caring and uh, um, executing caring, knowing how to care for the best way, the most practical way, so that uh, the future generation is not only brought to the world, but survives the world. There are opportunities and there are uh, threats, or let's say, um, not self, hooks that can hook your mind into hurrying, uh, being under adrenalized energy and um, under pressure to get to start um, new beginnings where with difficulties and chaos and wanting to um, transcend limitations, but change has its timing. So strategy and authorities 
what will keep you centered and knowing when exactly to move or not. At the same time, um, be aware of talking too much, saying too much, wanting to express your insights, but not listening to what other people say. Being deaf, like sitting on your ears and everybody around as well. <laughs> That's what the transit has for us. It is a very funny time, special occasion for me personally, since I get today my Uranus opposition. Exactly today, the date. I'm going to record a video right after that. So if you want to know more, like and subscribe or visit my website, my YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook with the same name, Human Design Journey. And I'll be back with more. This is Veronica. I will be glad if I was useful to you. Practicality is my weapon. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.